Now we're going to delve into some more case studies, looking at some games and how they've incorporated various strategies within the game development process. So the first case study looks at Classcraft, um, a middle school education game, and how it's used various innovation strategies, outcomes that it wishes to see achieved, and the challenges that have been faced in creating that. And we've provided you with a real world example of um, Woodrow Wilson Middle School and how they've utilized those concepts of a game in their own application. Now, the second case study looking at higher education and a concept known as serious games, which we'll be exploring in future weeks. And again, how they've applied various integration strategies, overcome various obstacles and the challenges they faced in developing that game. And giving you an example from Stanford University of a virtual heart surgery, um, using those same principles and concepts. And the final case study looks at corporate training and in particular the use of gamification concepts within that space. And an example from uh, Deloitte Leadership Academy of how they have utilized those concepts and developed a game for their particular purposes. Now, once you've had a look at those case studies, then I've given you two games, um, one based on evolution of um, organisms as they progress through a primordial soup and collect nutrients and develop. And the other, a geography game where players have to identify where they are in the world based upon what they see around them in a streetscape and make a guess on a map of where in the world they are. So the important aspect is pick one of those games and see if you can identify the integration strategies that you could utilize for that game in a particular environment, be it a school, higher education, or a workplace. Some of the outcomes that it could achieve and some of the challenges that would be involved in utilizing that game in that space and share those on the teams.